الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حب التفلاح one of the important characteristics of the believer is that they have hirs ala muhabbatillah that they have hirs that they are vigilant in seeking the reward and pleasure and love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allahumma inni as'aluka hubbuk wa hubba man yuhubbuk wa hubba li kulli amalin balaghni hubbuk the believer should be absolutely vigilant in learning those supplications and those adhkar that will bring them closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and cause Allah to love them. And if we want to know the most beloved speech to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we look at the hadith as our Shaykh Abdul Razak Al Badr he mentions, he says, "Famin fadail haulai kalimat anu huna ahabba kalam illah ahabba kalam illallah." Fakal ruya Muslim fi sahih min hadith Samrat bin Jundub radi Allahu taala an. So Shaykh Abdul Razak he mentions, he said, and from the benefits or the superiority. Of these words, meaning these four simple adhkar, ways of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is that they are uh, the most beloved speech to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are the most beloved speech to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As is narrated in the hadith of uh, Samrata ibn Jundub, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, قال, قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أحب الكلام إلى الله تعالى أربع لا يضرك بأيهن بدته سبحان الله والحمد لله والله إله إلا الله والله أكبر رواه مسلم In this hadith in Sahih Muslim, the hadith of Samra ibn Jundub radiallahu ta'ala anhu he said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam said the most beloved speech to Allah the Almighty is for and it doesn't harm you in which order that you recite these recite this speech or read this or re, uh, mention Subhanallah, glorify be Allah. Walhamdulillah, all praise belongs to Allah. Walla ilaha illallah, and there is no God worthy of worship except Allah. Wallahu akbar, and Allah is the greatest. Ruahu Muslim. In this hadith, Abu Tifillah, it shows us the fada'il, as the Shaykh said, of these four simple phrases or statements. And that these statements are beloved to Allah Azza wa Jal. That means you can gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by mentioning these beautiful, concise, simple statements. And you can make this adhkar anytime. It's so easy. It's so easy on the tongue as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned in another hadith. And they are, these beautiful four words, subhanallah. Here you're actualizing, you're praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you are glorifying Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And you are affirming Tawheed because you are saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free from all imperfection and all polytheism. Meaning there's nothing else worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even though people worship other things. People worship saints. People worship prophets. People worship... Uh, animals, people worship phallic symbols, people worship all kind of things, the sun, the moon, the stars. But glorified be Allah, and far removed be He 
subhanahu wa ta'ala from all that they, all the shirk that they commit. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned the second. He said, Alhamdulillah, all the praise belongs to Allah. All praise belongs to Allah who created all of this beautiful creation. All of these things around me. I, I, I can't even begin to, uh, there's only so much I can, can, uh, only so much of this glory that I can take in. It's so beautiful. What can I do? What's the next stage? All I can do is look at this great beauty. Over there, there's shade. It's about 115 degrees right now, I think, Fahrenheit, out in the sun. We have shade here and beautiful greenery. We have a beautiful blue sea, as you see, blue and, and, and some green. We have white sand, and we have these palm trees. And all the life that exists just within this grass. Ants. And all of this magnificent creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we praise Him, tabarak wa ta'ala. It's what a ni'mah. Then we didn't even talk about the ni'am of being having our health, being able to walk freely, being not being shot at, not being harmed, not living in war and famine, not having bombs dropped on us. Instead, we have the ni'mah. We have some sun and we have shade and we can speak and we can enjoy our breakfast. We can drink water. We have the provisions. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah ala kulli hal. All praise belongs to Allah under all circumstances. Tabarak wa ta'ala. Wa la ilaha illallah. And the third statement he said, and there is no God worthy of worship except the law. And that in and of itself requires a dars. That requires, as the imams of the sunnah have written books and lectures and treatises explaining la ilaha illallah, its conditions, its importance, its fada'il, its superiority. There is no God worthy of worship except Allah. Here you're actualizing tawheed. Here you are stating, here you are claiming, here you are making affirmation and negation, affirming that you're negating first. La ilaha illallah. There is no God. Illallah, and then you adat uh, istathna. Uh, then you make it. Then there's a a a word which refers to the exception. Illallah. There is no, here's a negation of all false gods, all false deities, and an affirmation that only Allah is worthy of worship. That means Jesus is not worthy of worship. We love him. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is not worthy of worship, but we love him. Prophet Ibrahim والسلام, was a beautiful prophet and we love him and all the Anbiya and Adam والسلام, who's the father of mankind and we love him والسلام, and may Allah وسلم, ala kulluhum, may Allah wa ta'ala, send peace and blessings upon all of them those are the NBA, and we love them. And they were the best of the creation because they worshiped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and actualized Tawheed and showed us Tawheed and called to Tawheed and prohibited from shirk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And we sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and call away from Taghut, those false deities, those false forms of worship. So here, La ilaha illallah, there is no God worthy of worship except Allah. We're negating false deities and affirming the Tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the monotheism. And the last kalima, Wallahu Akbar. And Allah is the greatest. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Look at this, Ahabatullah. All the ni'amillah. And we still commit obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willingly, privately, openly. 
desiring disobedience. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon us and continue to have mercy upon us. Forgive us and guide us and bless us with a class with the bat. May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us with hidayah. Ihdina surat al-mustaqeem. Ihdina surat al-mustaqeem. Ihdina surat al-mustaqeem. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayk. Subhanaka lahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha ila ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad.